Hi everybody, I hope all of you are really well. So this video isn't really to do with physics, it's just something I thought I'd show you. So this is something I'm super pleased with. I've just got it in my office. Uh, this is basically a big grapnels uh, rack and it's something that I've been meaning to get for a long time. So I just thought I'd show you through it. If you're a teacher watching this, or you're a technician, then you might have some tips about how I can store stuff better. But I thought a lot of you might be interested um, and yeah, this is kind of stuff that I'm doing at the moment uh, to kind of basically help you with your work for physics. Uh, this is my kind of to-do list for the summer. I've got um, loads of different GCSE topics, no-level topics. I've got all the different practicals and I've mapped them to exam board. And in order to actually make these videos, I've got loads of equipment. So I just thought I'd show you kind of um, what I've got. Um, because basically a lot of this stuff here is just so useful to have so I can grab it when I'm doing live streams which a lot of you've been watching or making videos about practical stuff or just demoing the, the content. So um, you know the stuff here that a lot of you might recognise from the videos. Um, and this one over here I've got uh, these leaflets and kind of letters and just stuff there to send out to schools in the future. Um, this is stuff I'm going to be using soon. I've got uh, some stuff here to make a uh, kind of capacitor to um, give you electric shock. So I've got everything there kind of planned and ready. Um, and then over here, this is just really useful bits and pieces. So, you know, stuff for electrical circuits. I've got, um, well, you know, this is just kind of normal stuff that you get in a science lab. I've got it all kind of now organized, um, including this, this kind of Lego person here. So I made this to do a video about the practical for density. So I kind of, um, I got some metal. I put it into uh, one of these Lego molds. So that's going to hopefully, um, just be something a bit different for one of those practicals. Uh, moving on, uh, I've got various random things. Uh, I've got an elephant because I'm going to do a video coming up about pressure. Um, you know, just kind of little data loggers, just just loads and loads of stuff. Uh, this one over here, um, this stuff's actually kind of bagged up because I've been really fortunate. There's this company called SciChem who actually provide lots of equipment to schools and they've allowed me to borrow anything I want from their catalog for free, which is awesome, uh, to actually use in my videos. So a lot of these um, are kind of really nice, high quality components that, again, you might recognize a lot of these from my more recent GCSE videos. Um, yeah, more stuff here. I've got a massive collection of balls there. I've tried to go for like the same color schemes, so um, you might notice when I've done videos for energy for GCSE, for example, I always use the same kind of orange color for all the energy videos. Um, and yeah, just use for having bits and pieces. Uh, stationery, stuff like that. This bit here, um, right, loads of people at, absolutely love the pens and I've got sick of kind of running out and I've actually got, you know, I do a lot of writing with the live streams going through past papers. So I thought, do you know what, invest in it and just go for the year ahead. Um, so these are these uh, Sigma uh, V sign, I think V-Sign Pilot Pens, or I can't remember which way to say that, but basically a V-Sign pen. These are absolutely amazing for writing in videos. Not so good for normal writing, so a bit thick, but in videos they come up really well. For normal writing, and uh, you know, when I used to mark, when I used to mark books in the olden days, um, I found that my favorite were these Uniball pens. So they're the ones I'd recommend you get for your own writing. And yeah, I've got my collection of calculators and bits and pieces. So just having everything at hand when I need it. Um, I guess more stuff up here. I've got uh, you know some stickers. I've got uh, bits and pieces for when I eventually actually manage to get out um, and actually go to some schools or some events. Uh, this map here has nothing to do with physics, but basically this is the area near to my office. And uh, over the whole lockdown period, when we were allowed to go and do exercise, I think I've pretty much. Uh, so this is my office here, um, just near a place called Poulton, south of Bath. And I've pretty much done every single possible combination of footpaths around this area in the whole kind of lockdown kind of time. Um, going over here, just, you know, pens, paper, um, you know, something I found actually, although today I've basically, I went out canoeing yesterday and I've got a horrible kind of cut on my finger. But what I try and do is obviously try and look after my hands because, you know, a lot of the time, you know, this is what you guys see. So I've got some uh, moisturiser there. Um, now, this is where the kind of obsession comes in. So um, a lot of you know I use lots of Lego and I've got more Lego over here, but basically I kind of started buying minifigures and then it just got out of hand. And what I'm doing now is basically sorting back through all the minifigures, trying to put them back together in the right way. So I've got some kind of half completed minifigures here, uh, more bits of Lego here, um, even more minifigures here. And again, these kind of, uh, I, think, I don't know, it's just something trying to break up uh, what is at times 
some some parts of physics are a bit dull and just trying to have some figures can hopefully make it a little bit more interesting so more mini figures here i've got some more to sort out um and yeah really the reason i thought about getting this was because i saw that there's quite a few people who are uh, i guess obsessed with lego and they've organized stuff really nicely and also i couldn't find the bits of lego i needed when i when i actually wanted them so yeah these are different plates and this one over here um took me ages to actually sort everything out so I've got this kind of normal green your standard Lego green here uh, more trays in different colours I need to get rid of that uh, red one okay so um, yeah basically I'll sort out Lego here and these ones down here I've got some other bigger things so power supply so I've got always got one of those in the office um, and just loads and loads more stuff you know a big box of batteries for like whatever it might be so um, you know, standard things for, I've got these kind of big 9 volt ones for which I use for the uh, microphone. I've just got a stack of Amazon Basics batteries. And in here there's just other bits and pieces. I guess the bigger things that come up in, uh, in different videos. And then over here, this is pretty much the Lego. So you've got the red, you know, the white. Uh, dark grey, I think looks relatively kind of grown up and a bit more classy, I suppose, than some of the kind of bright primary school colours. So yeah, that's really useful. Um, the wheels in here, Technic bits, you know, they're not super organized, but actually I think they're they're kind of good enough. And then um, I found, you know, that's definitely modern Lego. There's a lot more colors. And uh, these kind of, um, these kind of sort of inserts that go inside the grapnel trays are incredibly useful to actually keep things there. I've also got uh, the kind of bits I've used for modeling different things. So this is my solid. Uh, modelled out of some particles, so, you know, just that very standard particle model I've always used with these light blue ones now. Um, transparent bits. If you like Lego, you'll appreciate this. Um, yeah, so I've got another kind of insert here with eight sections. This is really useful for some of the colours I don't have as many of, so all the different sorts of pinks and other kind of a slightly orangey yellows. Um, even more colours here. These ones I've only got a few bits of, so there seems to be with Lego a whole selection of different browns and, and bits and pieces, so yeah, and some gold and stuff like that. Um, but what's really useful is having the kind of bits I need to actually explain the physics. So not just, you know, little things like this to maybe um, bring some example questions to life. Um, I've always used these uh, kind of two by two plates to be my quarks. So I've got different up and down quarks in here as well as uh, strange and charm and the kind of stuff you might learn about in A-level. I've then got my electrons, so I've always used these for electrons, and then I've got different things like neutrinos and muons and tau particles, um, and then a few kind of sort of photons back there. Up here, um, again, having this all at hand is really useful. Um, so I've got different sort of uh, uh, the kind of patterns that you might see if you put light through diffraction gratings or double slits. So if you're doing A level, you might recognise these different patterns. Uh, so you might have something. Uh, where you've got uh, red light, you've maybe got white light, and what happens is it gets split up. Um, electron energy levels, I've got, uh, sorry, that one's for the work function. Uh, electron energy levels, different sort of spectra, and these are absorption spectra. Um, different arrows for different bits and pieces, so yeah, it's just handy having everything together. And this one, um, yeah, just a few more bits and pieces. I've sort of tried to develop more recently, so this is, I think, a carbon dating with that kind of... Uh, archaeological specimen and if anybody's seen the video I did about tensegrity it's now had half a million views on beyond the brick so this is the actual structure I built for that and there's a link just up here in the corner of the video to actually watch the full thing so yeah more Lego there and again this is a big thing here that just comes up so often I've got my various different uh, nuclei so uranium and other bits and pieces so um, they look good on camera I think they're actually built underneath with all sorts of random different colours in there. But on the outside, they look pretty good. And then up here, um, some of you might have seen the live stream I did where I built the International Space Station. And uh, yeah, there's, I guess, in a box up here, there's even more Lego. So um, this thing over here is just awesome. It's so good and so handy to have everything close at hand. I can find stuff immediately when I need it. Um, I've discovered bits of Lego I didn't know I have, which are gonna come up in more videos. And uh, yeah, just having all your practical equipment um, in these kind of grapnel trays here, just like you have in a proper science lab or a science uh, kind of prep room, is incredibly useful when it comes to actually making more videos. So yeah, just a little bit of an office tour. Some of you, if you got to the end, you might like that. Some of you just might think, what on earth am I doing? 
But yeah, basically, um, don't forget that I'm making hundreds more videos over the next year to support you in any exams that come up and to really help you understand this subject. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Thank you.